So today you are experiencing the program which is scheduled for one month program uh, from 7th April we have started. So during this program many concepts you have learned. You have we have started with Fibonic principle, 1SD principle, then GAV principle, GAN angle and volatility and many more principles you have learned so far. And so far whatever the events has happened, those recordings we have given in this page. So if you go just go to the seminar page and click into this. So those respective recordings you can able to see. And uh, today the event is how we can have a strategic trade planning. So that is what we will be, I will be discussing. Then tomorrow I kept one special session for attending your all queries. If you have any query related to our product, our service, our concepts, then you can ask it in this session. So one special session I kept for that. So your suggestions, your queries, your all your concerns on our product I will be attending to. So yesterday I have taken a very small concept on investment planning. So there I have demonstrated if you will diversify a part of your portfolio from a fixed earning instrument to ETFs with some specific strategic rules like every 5% fall in the index you are diversifying 20% of your every 5% fall in the index I have told you to diversify 20% of your capital into the ETFs, exchange traded funds or B's, B's and ETFs are the same. Whatever the exchange will, index will be trading in the same denominations these funds will be trading. So I have told you from liquid fund, so from the liquid fund I told you to diversify to beads with based on the specific rule. So that rule I have told you every 5% fall in the index you will be diversifying 20% of your capital to the beads. So by that process I have given you one example and I have demonstrated from 2015 January if you are following this particular method till date then instead of 8% fixed earning you could earn more than 10%. More than 10% you could earn based on this particular plan. So I have also told you yesterday how you can able to enhance that things. I have also given you one timing parameter. Though 5% rule we have fixed it, if this 5% correction happened in a very stiffest uh, or fastest time, which is one third of your time, then I told you better to wait and deploy. Also I have told you market move in a 3, 5, 7, 9 cycle. So whenever the downtrend starts it is a 3 cycle, 5 cycle, 7 cycle and rarest case it goes to 9 cycle. So you have to take the advantage of this particular method. So I have told you that in different way also you can able to diversify your fund. First phase of correction put to 10%, next phase 15%, third phase say 20%. So like this way if you can deploy then your investment can earn more than this 10%. However, with a fixed rule of 5% correction in the nifty future, I will deploy 20% of my capital to the beads that has rewarded more than 10% which I have demonstrated to you yesterday. And today I am going to take on this strategic trade planning, how you can plan a trading portfolio. So investment portfolio and trading portfolio is having a vast difference. So trading portfolio should have specific components. So that I am going to describe today. And one thing I wish to draw your attention to certain facts like every week we are giving you 
the one is the weekly trend forecast nifty and bank nifty trend forecast for weekly basis we are giving what happened today so if you can just look into this today's pricings you have opened at 7945 this is the high 7959.75 it has happened low this is 92 and we have closed at 7936 all these three price points if you compare with the report so if you compare this is same thing with the report so closing closing happened at very close to just one point below your 0.618 one point below your 0.618 retracement the closing happened here also low you have gone just above 0.236 you have started moving just one point a deviation was there 0.786 that's why i used to tell you that this is the death zone from here trend reversal having all probability to reverse the trend so today's high if you will compare we are very close to that just one point or 0.5 points difference is there we maintain it and here from here you have reversed and this is the death zone which specified it has proved today as yes, it is a true death zone true reversal zone it has come here then it has bounced back and closed at 0.618 retracement level this is what you have experienced today so this is on one sd's weekly trend which was given on 13th april how it is validating on day on day basis that i am showing you i have told you on 18th 19th was a holiday and 20th this is the scenario happened or you can deploy that money for your investment so that is known as the corpus or the fund available or the corpus available in your hand in technical terms so at a particular time the amount of fund which is available in your hand it is known as the corpus or the fund availability now post that fund is got deployed into different different instruments for investment or for trading so over a period of time you will be carrying a number of different number of positions different different positions you will be carrying you will be having a nifty future long bank nifty short some some or other positions you will be having so the combination of that entire position the combination of that entire position at a particular time it's known as your portfolio that is the definition of portfolio portfolio means your money is deployed in some asset class and in that asset class having some value at particular point of time and that combination that basket of asset class what you have deployed your money is known as your portfolio that is the definition of your portfolio so yesterday i discussed about the investment portfolio by taking only two instruments one is a fixed instrument wherein you are getting a riskless interest like of return low risk return another is a risky instrument you are doing some diversification getting some money and this portfolio you can realign you can put some more asset cash into that i have shown you yesterday that only etfs or bees you can put gold bees you can put bank nifty bees you can put nifty bees so you can have different diversification so at one particular point of time whatever the assets present in your basket is known as your portfolio so same thing same concept when it is we are implementing in the trading that time we say that it is a trading portfolio so whenever you design a trading portfolio or if you have 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakhs rupees in trading and you are going on trading some part in the intraday some part in the options some part you are going for a weekly trades different different positions you are carrying so whenever you do these things many of these people does this particular activity without having a proper designing skill or without designing the particular things the means without designing the particular portfolio they st straight away enter today enter nifty carry it tomorrow enter bank nifty carry it something like that way most of the traders used to do but that is a wrong approach what is the right approach for a trading portfolio design so you have to understand the 
internals of this trading portfolio. While designing this trading portfolio, you must have understanding on all market instruments. Like you have a future, you have an option, you have equities. So all this instrument which is big traded, you should have a knowledge on that. And currently we have only plain vanilla options in, this, uh, in Indian market. However, in future you may be coming across some different options like knock in and knock out. You may come across with basket. You can come with many different type of options. Though in the nifty segment also we have long term options available nowadays. So this is you should understand all market instrument at a particular time. Second, the objective of this trading portfolio is always involves a high risk and high reward. So that is also is very important. So here trading portfolio should not be designed to meet a particular goal. So it is a high risk and high reward game. You are every day assessing, every day you are earning something. So you cannot fix up a goal here. You cannot say that this trading portfolio I have designed so that my son's marriage, daughter's marriage I will perform after five years out of this thing. Or I can go spend this money for my son's education after five years time. So that kind of goal you cannot set. It is a high risk, high reward. So whenever I talk about the high risk factor here, if you play in a trading portfolio, you have all chances at one particular time if adversity hits also, it can wipe out most of your principal capital. And if it moves in your anticipated direction, it will reward you very nicely. So this part of this design is very, very important. Extremely important this thing. You have do not have a goal for this portfolio. You just do not have anything associated with this portfolio. You are just taking a risk. If it gives you a money, it is okay or else not. So this is just a business. You can say that this is a business, risky business you are entering. Whenever you design any trading portfolio, what are the things as an analyst look into or as a trader you should look into? I will not use the term as an analyst because I am designing this thing that anyone can able to design this thing. So here you look into the portfolio beta. That is one part of the things. The way you have seen the beta decoupling method I have explained. That is one of the smallest example of a portfolio beta. You are taking two counters their decoupling values, then you are buying someone, selling someone. That is also a portfolio beta uh, related. That is a trading portfolio based on a particular factor called beta. Second, look into the hedge ratio. How many long contracts you are having? How many short contracts uh, you are having? Long versus short, what is the hedge ratio you are maintaining? That is important. So long versus short, this hedge ratio, why it is very important for a trading portfolio? The reason is you do not know what is going to happen tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow market opens and goes for a down freeze. Maybe tomorrow market opens at down freezing point or upper freezing point. So anything can happen in the market and you will never get one chance to come out of your position also. Even though if you are hedged with options this that. But if all your future contracts in long and you have all put options long also. You have a put options long, put long and all futures also long. And suddenly market open 10% downward and it is freezed. So what will happen? Your portfolio value is eroded. Broker will be closing down your positions or they will just square off your positions without thinking left and right. They will not see how much put you are having and all. Your There is a risk parameter. Risk parameter has triggered and they will close it up or they will ask you for some money or fund to pay. So whenever you take one trading portfolio, your contract, one one contract will be some 4 lakhs, 5 lakhs, if you have 50 lakhs, 50 lakhs, suppose you have only fund of 3 lakhs and you have taken an exposure of 50 lakhs long in future. However, this 50 lakhs of future is, 50 lakhs of future is hedged with the put option. But if the market opens, just 10% down, then all your funds will go off. You will never get a chance to come out of this put also. This kind of th things many times happened in the market, not even for a single time, 
many many times this kind of situations has happened irrespective of hedging you will never get a chance to come out so in such scenario what you have flash class or something so that time the hedge ratio is very important you look, need to look into the hedge ratio and look into the trend parameter it is the most important fact so whatever the trading portfolio design you should do you must go along with the trend so whenever I talk about trend I will give you a very brief introduction about the trend what the people say about the trend and what is the truth of the trend so this I will take in the next part however this is a you have to look into the trend parameter after looking into all these three aspects you can do a perfect portfolio design I will give you a few examples also so here you have done a trend analysis and you found out that yes I have got uptrend breakout in the nifty future I have also got uptrend breakout in the bank nifty future nifty future also I have got a means uh, uptrend breakout and also I got the bank nifty future also I got a uptrend breakout so in this particular situation as a normal trader whatever the report you are getting from us and all based on that if you ask them, assume you will say that okay I will buy nifty future and with one put option I will also buy bank nifty future with one put option hey, oh, hold that position that is a wrong thing that is a wrong thing so whenever you are long contract if the uptrend you are finding out long contracts whenever I talk about long contracts it includes all kind of your futures so options if you have only options then you have to strike plus premium multiplied with the lot size by that process if you have X price X is the premium and the strike is a strike you have bought it so this is strike multiplied with the lot so that will be the value of your contract of option contract that also you have to take into account so so if you have bought the option then this is positive if you have sold it is negative and how many lots you have taken based on that that long so whatever the long contracts divided by short contracts in a off trend the hedge ratio should maintain above 0.5 this is just to protect you in case there is a eventuality of downtrend then you must your portfolio should not be squared off by the broker you should have enough time to come out so to buy the time in case of a odd period of your trading cycle you should do this thing and you should always take care of your hedge ratio and vice versa whenever the trend is negative hedge ratio you have to maintain that long versus short will be having a different proportion so shorts should go up and longs should come out, come down and that hedge ratio you have to make it as 0.5 above and options we are using as a hedging component whenever we are designing any trading portfolio we are hedging these options we are using these options for hedging so based on the objective of the life cycle you have to use the options in an appropriate way for example if you are in the first week of the settlement thus options will have a high implied volatility and high time value so you need to hedge the futures with the selling side of options so that time value decay also you can enjoy in terms of profit and trading portfolio must have a life cycle here the life cycle means and which duration I should assess the success or failure of my trading portfolio or how I have performed in that trading how I will access that duration should be minimum one week maximum two week because your trading portfolio most of the cases having a maximum lifespan of one month out of that you can allow only two weeks for that so then you should realign your all your trading portfolio accordingly so this is what about the trading portfolio design so I'll just give you one very simple example as I told you before if nifty and bank nifty both are giving you a uptrend breakout imagine so say we have for this particular week we have given some trend forecast and it has come okay nifty given a buy entry at 
7889 level bank nifty so this is uh, by entry of nifty and bank nifty you can say bank nifty has given a breakout of say 16440 this is the breakout i have got it so so if you am not designing any trading portfolio so what i am i am do, going to do say i will buy both with here i can say 7900 put i can hedge or 850 put i can hedge 850 put i am hedging and here too also i am hedging some 16100 put just for assumption sake i am just hedging imagine this is the thing i have done without designing a trading portfolio and tomorrow after i initiate say this i have bought it 50 and this i have uh, or 60 rupees i have paid here uh, 123 rupees or 120 rupees i have paid here this is the pro things i have initiated by misfortune or by some internal or by some overnight development imagine for this particular trade i have just given some 75000 rupees to the broker as a margin i have 25000 rupees as left out as a cash tomorrow suppose nifty is opening at 7000 and this two also is opening at 14000 or 10 to 15% down it has happened so how will happen if i am just taking one 10% fall in this 788 into 77 75 so 75 so this much of money is mtm is required so if i am taking that yes same 1640.10% is there 1600 into 30 this much of mtm is required so by this process the mtm requirement has gone up to 107 i have a fund only 75 two options are there and imagine in the first half an hour of the trade it has happened and market freezed so what it will do you have only 25000 in the margin both together you have only 1 lakh you have a hedging component but this is a misfortune happened so broker will close this position you do not get a rescue imagine it is a risk by system it triggered and it is got closed next day market opening at 7500 and this also opening at 15000 and it is consolidating and it is not freezing so you did not get a chance to come out of this put option also by this process the put option value also eroded this also eroded loss also eroded so your complete trading things is finished all your trading portfolio is got finished because you have not done a portfolio planning here your trend assessment is perfect everything is perfect however since it is not a portfolio design so this kind of situation will totally wipe out your money which you have deployed for trading so in this case what to do if this is the thing so there is a way so if i am if i am going in this particular order say i bought bank nifty i bought nifty having a put option it is okay but when bank nifty gives me a triggering if i do in this order if i just sell bank nifty bank nifty at 16000 though it is given me uptrend breakout and i'll be buying say 16500 call option multiple lots lots with net delta say plus 1 if i do this so if i do this i bought nifty that is no problem in this by this process what happen i have a nifty 7889 into 75 so i have a long contract here i have a short contract here into minus 30 so this hedge ratio this i have to positive make it positive so hedge ratio if i can take it this divided by i have to make it positive so it is a just a sell sell order so for that only it is coming so it is 1.19 this is also you have to keep it above 0.5 i have told you so it is desirable but no point of time you should take it above 3 so that also you have to remember so it should not be above 3 three times of the 
value should not be there because it will be each 10% of correction will involve 30% of these things. If there is a 10% correction happens, your impact will be only 11% here. 1.19 means it is 11%. You have not compromised with the profit also. Because if bank nifty goes up, your call options are going to yield you the profit and here too also you are going to get the profit. You have not compromised on the profit part. However, if there is a great correction of 10%, so you have lost say 59,000 here, your MTOM 10% correction, so 59,000 you are losing here and same time you are getting some 49,000 here. So only impact is only 10,000. As I told you, your portfolio impact in this case will be 11.99%. So out of 1 lakh capital, if you have only 10,000 rupees will be a required. So at least your positions will not be get closed by the broker or by the system and you will be still maintaining the same value in your trading. So that is the importance of your trading portfolio design. So this is for what? This is for the reason why we must look into the hedge ratio. So then the other part of our other part of our analysis we should do. So here people say that whether if I do every 5-5 five, five minute 1-1 one, one trade, whether I will become more successful in the trading career? No. If you every 5-5 five, five minute, 2-2 two, two minute, if you just punch an order, 2, two rupees profit in Nifty future come out, 3 rupees profit in Nifty future come out, whether you are profitable in that? No. So the number of trades if you increase that doesn't guarantee that you will be profitable. Increase in the number of trades never increases your profitability. And so far many clues I have given so far in different different programs in this particular month to give you a clear understanding on that when you should hold the trade and when you should, should not hold the trade. Say I have given you one trend continuation on this put call ratio. I have told you as long as your put call ratio remains above 1.16 trend will be up when this gross basis put call ratio fall below 0.75 then it signals the bearish trend. So as long as this put call ratio maintains above this particular factor even though there is a small correction may happen in different counters still you can hold on to your positive trend anticipated positions Put call ratio also guides you to a great extent. One more most important part, fact about the trend forecast. Many people used to say that you are saying that if it goes above X you buy it, if it falls below Y you should sell. Why not you are saying that tomorrow it will open at X and you should buy? Why not you are saying that tomorrow it will open at Y you should sell? So this is a wrong factor on the trend forecast. No one in this world can say you well in advance though we use the term forecast it is a technical term only forecast is not that you are God you know everything about the market and tomorrow it is going to happen this is not the fact about the trend forecast. Trend forecast means using a mathematical model we calculate the uptrend price movement and simultaneously the downtrend price movement post calculation I repeat here post calculation whichever the direction price gives you breakout we move in that particular direction that is the actual definition of a trend forecast which is not true if someone says that market will open at X price tomorrow and you should buy it will move, move to Y price then this is a foolish analysis you can say that it is a bad knowledge they do not have the proper knowledge on the trend forecast. Many people misguide in this order. I know tomorrow it will open at this price and you should buy and just do all these things. That is not true about that. And what is a good trend forecast? That also has some essence. So what is a good food? If you eat it is tasty and you can able to digest it and it has a good nutrition value. If the food is tasty, has a good nutrition value, but in spite of these two property, if you cannot able to digest it, if it is not digestible food, then you can say that whether it is a good food. Many such examples I can give you. Grass is a substance which has 99% of fiber, which cow can eat and digest. 
whether human being can able to eat the grass because we required fiber grass is having 98% fiber so we can able to chew the grass and say that yes we have taken some grass so it has the property of your fiber but still you cannot able to digest it similar kind of similar type of things when we do some calculations mathematically many methods are there many methods are there you take moving average you can take oscillators you take different different trend indicators 3000 indicators are there so statistical indicators and Eliot's principle Gans principle lot many principles are there it means n number of principles you can find it out and many people also individually developed many more principles after developing so many principles if any one principle is so accurate then what is the need of a second principle you must ask me. if we are satisfied with one principle it gives you good success then why we need a different principle so here so here the question comes a good trend forecast whenever we find out you calculate the trend and market obeys it or honors your calculations that is known as your good trend forecast the way you are experiencing the one standard deviation the way you are experiencing the GAV techniques the way you are experiencing the midpoint technique all these techniques whatever so far we have come in the come across in this smart finance and we have researched it and we have presented before you these are the things we have proved it certain places where we found out that yes it works however the probability of success never moves above 0.5 means many indicators also works but if you take some 10 instances it works for 5 instances and doesn't work for 5 instances that time we said that okay let us hunt for one different method which can give you greater accuracy and greater success so that is called the trend forecast and that is what we promote in the right knowledge so that is what we promote in the smart finance so all methods has its own limitation all methods having their own success ratio you cannot say that MACD doesn't work we never say that RSI never work we never say that all these 3000 indicator nothing works only our principle works we say those principle works however as compared to their loyalty towards the market as compared to their success rate and their accuracy in the calculation or the probability of touching those calculated figures in the real scenario is less as compared to this particular method that's why we promote that you follow this method because for currently it is successful and many such methods also we have phased out many methods which we have come come across in the in our 11 years of presence which was there you can say many of you have come in, uh, in uh, today's webinar room that uh, they are present those who are associated with the smart finance from the past 10 years so 10 years back beta decoupling method and today's beta decoupling method having a great difference 10 years back I never said that correlation has any importance now I am saying correlation is very important 10 years back I was telling that only the past one month's beta decoupling value is important now I am saying that no past three months beta decoupling value is important so these are the improvements whenever we brought it in the system we present before you it is without diluting its very essence and that is what we present in that so this is a good trend forecast in this order so the key aspect of your today's session what I have told you while doing one designing one trading portfolio whether it is for weekly purpose or it is for the monthly purpose look into these factors hedge ratio is very important look into the trend parameter and then align your hedge ratio accordingly and based on that only you have to align your risk parameters and also I have told you that look into the put call ratio so that it can give you a first hand information that what is going to happen and what trend it is going to give you in the duration of your holding so that is what I, I used to convey and that if you are trading in the nifty 
So at any particular time in the once market opens after half an hour or one hour, if you wish to say that what is the undertone of the market, you can take this particular ratio. This is the put presence and call presence. So this divided by your put, it will give you the ratio. Similar type of things, you can take it for your stocks also. Stocks also can give you similar kind of put call ratio estimates. And I wish to tell you something here because a lot of courses are available in our website under this video course section if you go. So there are many other concepts because during this event I have not taken all the concepts. So investment concept, midpoint method, delta neutral, pair trade, Bollinger RSI, how we understand about the technicals. All these free courses are there. Whenever you have a free time, please browse through that and see those, go through these other things. It will help you a lot in your enhancing your knowledge and your skill in the trading. And coming to the smart finance product and services, we have fantastic set of products, 12 set of products we are having. So on different, different concept, most of the concept, whatever I have discussed so far in this event, started from 7th April. I have attended all this, almost all the products which is available in our domain. So if you have a real interest to learn something and have a disciplined trading habit, if you wish to adopt a disciplined trading habit in a logical, rational and scientific way, proven way, and if you have wish to know that yes, I should acquire some knowledge and which is going to help me in the trading, then you can go with your products which can cost you 17,500 for the entire package. If you are taking any individual package, it has individual cost like 1SD 2600. You do not get any material, only software you get. Option strategy, you get an option course along with the stops which can give you 10,500. 10, GAV, it comes with GAN concept, books and DVD and its price is 3,000. Like this way, we have different, different products, every product having a different, different pricings. Separately, if you buy different, different, all different products, it costs you 47,000. However, we have discounted for a full package buyer as a 17,500. So besides that, whenever you go through this particular concept, if you get into any difficulty in understanding any particular concept, you have to send the email. We will attend all your queries through email. So our aim is to, if you are getting educated in these particular things, Yes, no one is formally educated in this trading business. So if you are getting educated in these things, you may come across through certain difficulties in learning. That time through email, we will assist you to solve your queries and to make you an educated trader. So this is the objective of all our courses and this thing. And all these courses has taken Indian market examples. All my books has written in India. So Indian market example, I have not given any dollar example here. So all these concepts like this 34 day trading technique, 22 option trading techniques, what is present in the option course. All these things you can test it well. So if you pull out any one technique out of that and you can test it for seven days or eight days in the real market, the way it is explained, it is all our mathematical models. If you do that, you can realize that what is the benefit of this thing, how far it is true. So these methods are not just put in the book just to fill the pages and sell you. This is being well researched and this is being well experimented before being documented there. So that is what you will explain. And all our software's buyers, those who are the buyer of the software, update of that software. Whenever that same software is getting updated, time and again that those things are given to you free of cost and it has annual maintenance because all this real-time software has a one year expiry. All softwares updates are free. However, sometimes we bring some new products. We may add the 13th product. You have already bought in a price of 17,512 products. That time the 13th product will not be given to you at a free of cost. So the 13th product will have some price and if you in, if you are interested, you can buy it. However, the existing product what is there, if it is upgraded, updated, that will be given to you free of cost. So, however, if new product comes, that will not be given to you. Any existing buyer, 
free of cost because those who have taken our products some six years back that time we have six products now if you can say that all remaining six products you give me at free so that cannot happen because every research every innovation has a cost associated with that so if you are a world buyer recently many of the world buyers you have told the only one company in india who dare to show their innovations in a live market in a working condition it works that is our objective this is the concept i have taught you this is the concept we are advocating and this is working on the market however no one will give you that things they will say that we have backfill data this data that data and we can show you but no one will show you their demonstrate their methods in a live market so backfill everything they will show you so they will never show you in anything in the live market so do not fail this particular do not fail to attend these programs do attend that program and we will record it if the recording comes also good